Hey guys, Nick here and welcome back to another video. Today in DaVinci Resolve, we're gonna be creating a TikTok filter. Now, straight off the bat, I don't use TikTok, I don't quite get it, but a subscriber of the channel who checked out my last video, which I'll leave linked up above, left a recommendation to create the runaway filter or runaway Aurora filter effect from TikTok in DaVinci Resolve. Uh, the filter itself is kind of like this. I'll just play like a little bit of a montage here so you can kind of see what's going on. And it's actually really easy to create inside DaVinci Resolve. So like literally let's just jump in and make the effect because it's super, super simple. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve and on the left-hand side we have our free footage, which I downloaded from pexels.com. I'll leave that link down below. It's where I get all my stock footage and photos. And what you're gonna need is obviously a, some sort of footage with a person in it, I guess. And then a image or like landscape or something like that. Here we have a picture of an Aurora. Again, pexels.com, link down below. Anyway, here we are and we have this clip of her jumping here with the trophy. And what we're gonna create is this, this here. All right, and it's super, super simple. So let's delete this bit here and with our original footage, what we're gonna do is we're going to find the point in the jump where she's at the highest. And we're gonna keep going, going. That is where she's the highest. So what we're gonna do is with our footage selected, we're gonna go Command R or Control R if you're on a Windows PC. All right, and with this drop down arrow here, still have the playhead selected, we're gonna go Freeze Frame. All right, and then it's basically if we zoom out, it's going to give us a section here which we have frozen. All right, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna hover over the two markers it's given us and just Command B or Control B and slide till there. And now we have our, and we can just Command R to get rid of that. So now we have our footage broken up. We've got the freeze frame and then she drops again. And we can resize this as best we want. We'll just do a small section for now. So what we're gonna do, play head over the freeze frame. With it selected, we're gonna jump into Fusion. Very good, and just move it down out of the way. And what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're going to add a background and make sure it's black up here in the inspector and we're gonna merge it across, all right? Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna display the merge in the left-hand side and we're actually gonna display media in on the right-hand side. If you don't have two viewers, there's just this button here which will split between the two. All right, and the reason we want to have both is because, well, really we just wanna see where we're creating the mask. So what we're gonna do, and this bit takes quite a while. So the background selected, we're gonna hit the polygon tool and we're gonna to zoom right in and let's just start here and we're going to start clicking around her shape. Now you don't have to be super precise, uh, it's totally up to you how specific or how, I guess, accurate and detailed you want this silhouette to be. And you can literally just sort of click, keep going until the whole silhouette is done. So I'm gonna speed through that because this is the bit that takes the longest. All right, so with that done, you can see here we have our silhouette. If you wanted to make it a little bit more detailed, see how we have like these little cutouts in the trophy. It's as simple as grabbing your original polygon mask, creating another mask, and then just sort of quickly, we'll just do a real quick one and creating like that in there. And then with that mask selected, you go to your paint mode and just go subtract. And you can see here that you get your little handle. And if you wanted to do it again, same thing, you just create another polygon and you just do the exact same thing on the other side. Again, we'll just do a nice quick one. Same thing, we're gonna go merge and we're gonna go subtract. And then you get your little handles there. What we do want to do though, is because this is an organic shape, we want to smooth out all the edges. We don't want it super rough like you can see here. It's nice and it's pretty sharp. So with everything we've created, so we're going to select those first. We're going to go over here and we're going to go smooth, which is Shift S. Looking pretty, pretty good. Now all we need to do is delete the media in node because we actually don't need it. So we're going to delete the media in node and give it a sec to figure itself out. All right, so now we've got our background. We'll delete the merge because we don't really need it anymore. And now all we need to do is bring out our image. So we're gonna bring in the Aurora or whatever image you're gonna use. We're going to connect it together. All right, we're gonna merge it, place the merge over here. Um, what we wanna do is those make sure that the Aurora is actually plugged into the background, not the foreground. So with the merge selected, control 
T or Command T, swap them around. Now you can see here that obviously the Aurora is a different size. So if we wanna just bring it back into our 1080p space, with that selected, we can go Shift Space, add a resize node. It's just gonna bring it back into our 1080p space. And that is it, literally. You go back to your edit page and you can play this back now. And it's done. That's it for that video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more DaVinci Resolve tutorials. And yeah, until the next video, guys, see ya.